So, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we can start. Welcome to the last part of our morning section. And now we have in this part, we will have two talks about educational programs in Ukraine. And our first speaker is Dr. Kristina Knatenko from the Ivan Franco National University of Lviv. She will talk about educational program, quantum computing and quantum programming at the Ivan Franco National University of Lviv. So please, Kristina. Thank you, thank you very much for the introduction. Thank you very much for the nice possibility to present to present uh, the program, the educational program. So, uh, first of all, I would like also to introduce myself. Uh, I'm professor at the Ivan Franko National University of Lviv, Department for Theoretical Physics, and also I'm working at the SOFSER as Quantum Computing Research Advisor. So, uh, the program, the program. The title of the program is Quantum Computing and Quantum Programming, and it was opened on sorry, 2020, so two years ago in Lviv. And uh, we have the both the baccalaureate and the master educational programs. So uh, the baccalaureate education program is the first uh, such a program in Ukraine. And it was opened in Ivan Franco National University of Lviv in uh, the Faculty of Physics. Of course, during a lot of years, uh, the members of the Department of Theoretical Physics uh, uh, performed uh, their researches and studies in the field of quantum information, quantum computing. So um, you can see here the students of our educational program, first year students, in the front of our department, also our university. So I am the uh, director of um, master education program and the baccalaureate education program um, is supervised by, I'm uh, uh, sorry, I'm supervisor of uh, uh, baccalaureate education program and uh, the master education program is supervised by uh, Professor Voldemar Kachuk. So why do we open this program and uh, what course, courses we have? Um, this is because of our studies and um, our results in the field of quantum mechanics and quantum information. So during a lot of years, more than 20 years, the study we studied uh, different systems in um, with the help of um, different tools of quantum mechanics. We studied properties of spin systems. Uh, we studied attainment of quantum states, um, geometric characteristics of quantum states, and so on. So uh, already we have uh, 35 papers which are related to quantum information, quantum computing. So you can see uh, some of them, some recent papers, they are about um, studies of energy levels on a quantum computer and Professor Tkachuk tomorrow will discuss and will present the results for you. Also studies of the geometric measure of entanglement uh, on a quantum computer and so on. We have also, uh, some textbooks, so uh, textbook on fundamental problems of quantum mechanics, also introduction to quantum compu computations, and our students uh, studied this um, subjects. You can see here the year, so you have 2011, 2018, so this, it was before the opening of these programs. And also uh, the chapter in textbook, uh, textbooks um, by Professor Bokarchuk uh, contains uh, the basis of quantum information. Uh, also, um, what about the baseline for, for opening the program, for opening the educational program is the scientific project, scientific results. So we have scientific pro project, uh, which is uh, the title of the project is Studies of Physical Systems and Facts of Space Quantization on Quantum Computers. Supervisor is Professor Tkachuk, and uh, this project is from National Research Foundation of Ukraine. So this all steps um, um, gives us a possibility to, to open this 
educational program. And uh, you can see here the courses of baccalaureate program. So uh, we, we have also classical programming, but uh, at the same time, a lot of uh, new courses of quantum programming and quantum information. For instance, quantum algorithms, quantum programming, uh, classical and quantum machine learning, quantum cryptography, uh, quantum statistics, simulation of quantum systems on the quantum computers, um, and so on. So uh, this are uh, very specific courses uh, which are related to this program. Of course, students um, have to study a lot of uh, physics, a lot of general courses. So uh, the bachelor's, um, the duration of the bachelor's studies is four years. And also at the same time, we have a master program a master educational program, which, which is entitled quantum, computer, quantum Computers and Quantum Programming. So uh, this slide, you can see the courses of this program. So you, we have fundamental problems of quantum mechanics, the coherence of quantum states, uh, classical programming, of course, because uh, to program on, on the quantum device with uh, Qiskit and uh, the Fovich we have to study, we have to teach our students um, Python and uh, other languages of programming. So also quantum algorithms and quantum supremacy, quantum music, uh, quantum statistics, uh, complex systems, um, classical and quantum information. So the duration of the master studies is 21 months. So we have a first year master students and also the second year master students. What about uh, our students? So um, in the first year, uh, in 2020, uh, 20s, um, only uh, not uh, not a large amount of students uh, select uh, choose our uh, program because we didn't have the um, possibility to uh, to study them in the budget place but uh, we had uh, three students but in, in uh, 2021 uh, so uh, the last year uh, a lot of students uh, we chose our educational program, so we had um, 100, um, more than 100 applications on the program, and to, um, now we have very high level students in quantum on this program as a, that uh, have possibility to study right now. Uh, all this very nice and very, very specific courses in Ukraine and in Ivan Franco National University of Lviv. Uh, also, we have master students, and we hope that in this year we also we obtain a lot of new um, and the good uh, high level students from uh, Ukraine. So. Uh, also, uh, I would like to say that we have a PhD students, um, PhD students which are uh, working in quantum information and quantum computing. And um, as a second part of my talk, uh, I would like to present um, short, short, shortly uh, the results of studies with our PhD students uh, on the quantum devices and uh, this. Uh, Part of our results, the uh, next part will be presented tomorrow by Professor Tkachu. Uh, so uh, I have to say that the um, program was opened in collaboration with IT company SoftServe. And uh, in the last year, uh, we had a quantum computing incubator uh, in the frame of SoftServe RD. And with Nikola Maximenko, Damira Khadiyev, uh, Maxim Durchok, and I was also in this team. So with students, we solved uh, very practical um, 
problem. It was a problem for BMW, uh, for quantum computing challenge, for sensor position optimization program problem. And um, so our students uh, have the possibility to participate in different uh, uh, incubators, also in different uh, programs, practical programs, uh, because of this collaboration. And uh, now they are working at SOTFSAR, uh, also as, as I said. Uh, so what about our researches, our results of our research? So um, we studied with students, a lot of studies were, were devoted, uh, devoted to the entanglement. We studied the geometric measure of entanglement. It is very nice measure because it has um, very clear geometric interpretation. So it is defined as the minimal distance between an entanglement state and the set of non-entanglement states. And uh, Professor Sort Kachuk was also as a member of our department, and Professor Friedrich from the Wrocław University obtained such a good relation of this uh, geometric measure of metamorphism with the mean value of spin. Uh, so, for instance, if you consider this relation, you have to use this minimization procedure, you have to perform this minimization procedure. With the help of this relation, you have only to calculate the mean spin, and uh, this gives us possibility to, to calculate the geometric measure of tenement on a quantum device. So uh, we consider the graph states because um, they are well studied states in various quantum algorithms, for instance, uh, um, quantum machine learning, quantum error correction, and so on. And um, the states, the graph states, means that the states can be uh, represented by graphs. And uh, we studied uh, graph states uh, which are related with physical systems, for instance, with um, spin systems described by Ethan model. And um, uh, we considered such a Hamiltonian and construct the graph states with the help of action of operator evolution on the, the initial state. And then we calculate analytically that the entanglement of a spin with other spins is related with properties of the graph. It is related with the degree of knot, degree of vertex in this graph. So the scale is a degree of vertex. And uh, we calculate this entanglement on a quantum device. So to perform the calculation, we have to create a quantum protocol. So this protocol can be seen here. So in order to represent this exponent, we have to use this gates on a quantum device. So if we have a more complicated graph state, we have more complicated quantum protocol and we perform our calculations on the IBM quantum device, IBM Q Valencia, with the following structure. The four we considered uh, the same structure of the graph state and calculate entanglement, for instance, the qubit of spin four with other qubits, and so on. And the results uh, of calculations I will present later, but here I also uh, would like to show you that we also uh, consider different types of graph states, for instance, complete graph uh, state cor corresponding to the complete graph, and the quantum protocol is the full moving. And the protocols were realized on the quantum device, and um, we obtained these crosses. This crosses corresponds to the to our results of quantum calculations, and this line corresponds to the analytical results. So we have a good agreement in this case uh, of quantum uh, calculations with the classical uh, one, so analytical one, <laughs> I have to say. And this uh, from this um, plot we can see that we have errors, but of course uh, the quantum devices needs to be improved. I needed to be improved, so we have errors, gate errors, errors of measurements, and so on. Also, we studied with our PhD students, we studied multi qubit graph states because of paper that quantum, IBM's quantum computer can be fully entanglement. So, this paper was sorry, from this 
was published, uh, you can see here in this slide, and we generalized uh, this uh, graph states. Uh, we considered the graph states presented uh, by equation 11. Uh, so we have not uh, controlled Z gates, but we, but we control we have uh, controlled phase gates. So we have additional parameters, and also the initial state uh, contains parameters theta and alpha. So the expression for entanglement is the following, and we also consider the complete graph and all and the claw graphs. Uh, you can see in the papers. Uh, created such a protocols and um, the protocols where um, we uh, realized the protocols on the quantum device for different parameters, I mean, quantum device. And the results of quantum populations you can see here in this slide. So we have also a good agreement of quantum, results of quantum calculation with the theoretical one. So uh, for more details, please consider these papers and um, up for, uh, about other uh, research uh, as uh, results for the studies, you can uh, see or you can know with the help tomorrow because Professor Tkachuk will, be present, will present them. So now I thank you for your attention. So if you would like to find more information or if you would like to contact me or Professor Tkachuk, you can use these emails. And also we have sites, so for the site of physical department, physical faculty, department for theoretical physics, the site of our program, educational program, and we are in the social networks, so Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and so on. So thank you. Thank you very much, Christina, for this introduction of your program. I believe it's really nice. So do we have questions now? Yeah, Alexander, please. Okay, uh, thank you, Christina. Very impressive programs and results. Uh, for, for me, I, I could not say that I well understand about the results, <laughs> but uh, about the program, I, I want uh, the, just some question, uh, just clarify uh, for me a bit uh, uh, how how many courses your average students get. So, for example, from master from master program, uh, just average student, how many courses from this list? how uh, uh, they, they take. So they have to take all these courses. Ah, uh, the, all, all these courses? Yes. Uh -huh. So we, they study all these courses. They have uh, uh, also another courses. So they have uh, uh, philosophy, English, and so on. But these courses, all these courses, they have to study in the frame of this program. So they study 21 months. So in the first year of study, they uh, listen fundamental problems of quantum mechanics, um, classical and quantum information, entanglement quantum states and measure of entanglement, um, classical programming, quantum programming, quantum algorithms, and quantum supremacy. Um, that's, that's all. And on the second year of study, they uh, listen the coherence of quantum states, quantum machine learning, quantum music, uh, complex systems, simulation of physical process and system on quantum computers, efficiency of quantum computing. So, so okay, I, I understand. And, and classical uh, also I, program. <clears throat> I thought that it, it is uh, it is just courses by choice uh, and and then. No, 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 no. no. All these courses. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, okay. Um, uh, there are some questions from uh, chat. Uh, what is quantum music? Christian Marciniak asked. Oh. Music, music is the music written by, with the help of quantum computers. So you, if you have some quantum algorithm, you can map it to some... Uh, song yeah, it's interesting and that then, it's a semester, and then play it. Yeah? semester course on it. Yes, yes. It would be interesting to hear something like this. Incredible. <laughs> Your talk. Okay, uh, another question from chat, Artem Havreluk asking, what is quantum machine learning? 
is a machine learning in which uh, uh, use it quantum uh, as a part of this learning is use it uh, quantum device, for instance. Um, there are a lot of uh, schemes of machine quantum machine lear learning uh, right now. Um, uh, the very very well studied is uh, quantum machine learning in which the quantum generator is uh, the generator uh, is replaced by quantum generator. So so as a generator is used a quantum network. So as I uh, showed you here. Mm, sorry for my skipping. So uh, quantum uh, gun is a uh, uh, well-known uh, word from the quantum machine learning. We have very similar quantum protocol, but we have a lot of layers. So we have some variational form, which is used as a quantum generator. So there are a lot of papers, papers already published in this field mm -hmm. and uh, some results. So the results are not uh, so impressive because of course we have not devices with many qubits with uh, error corrected uh, possibilities. But um, of course, uh, it, we have to study it and we have to improve our possibilities in quantum computing to obtain this quantum supremacy in quantum machine learning. And actually, there are a number of review, nice review papers on this topic now. Of course. Yes, of course. Yeah. Okay, uh, Professor Igor Dmitruk has a question. Okay, may I ask a question? How many students do you have in your bachelor's course and in master's course? So we have 18 students, 18 first year students in bachelor course, and we have uh, two uh, second year students in the bachelor course. So uh, in the master course, we have three students of the first year master course. And how many are already graduated? Uh, we started in 2020, so they are not graduated yet. Thank yeah. Okay, thank you. And Christina, just a small question. Uh, is your program open for exchange with other universities? For example, if uh, some students from other universities want to, uh, for example, attend uh, your courses, is it possible? It is possible, but I, I have to check if, if, it's, if it is possible officially. Yes, yeah, it's formally work. Of course, I am open, so my lectures are open. Uh -huh. But in principle, it's possible to at least now unofficially to recommend students to join your, to join your lectures, for example, and after that uh, to think how to organize all the things formally. Yes, of course. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, and now we thank you very much, Christina, again for your nice talk. Thank you. Yeah. Andre, there are a few more questions on the chat. Ah, yes, sorry. And, and we have still yeah. time. So. Yeah, Christina. So, uh, Vadim Fedekovich, uh, we're asking what problems could be best solved with graph states? What problems? What problems could be best solved with graph states? Okay, so. Uh... Graph states I use it also in machine learning. So we uh, we're talking about uh, the machine learning. So in quantum machine learning, the graph states are, I use it. So um, the the states I I cannot uh, say um, clearly that this program this problem is the best for using the graph state because the graph states I use it in various algorithms. For instance. Uh, quantum error corrections, for instance, the graph states are entanglement states, so they are used in uh, hybrid quantum algorithms. For the same QA UA algorithm used as this graph state, so we create this graph, this state as a graph state. So this is a tool of quantum programming to create a graph state. We uh, use this word graph because it is very um, comfortable for us 
and uh, we have simplification or we have some um, mapping of our calculations which can be very very hard classical or analytical calculations to some picture picture of graph and study the stats with the help of tools of um, which are used in graph uh, research okay thank you very much and one more question from uh, our participant with nickname sunban uh, uh Wolf, i have been in an online game uh, game jam of quantum art and music which was very interesting i wish to know whether hybrid quantum technologies are also being looked upon like those of DeWave, for solving operational research problems uh, but uh, can you uh, please repeat the, uh, what is the sense of the in principle, I wish to know whether hybrid quantum technologies are also <laughs> upon like those of D-Wave for solving operational research problems. I have to say that the most uh, algorithms, uh, a lot of algorithms, uh, uh, the main part of algorithms which are used in quantum programming are hybrid algorithms. Uh, so derive uh, quantum devices, uh, we have the possibility to use them for solving uh, many qubit tasks, especially for hybrid tasks, for instance, for QAA algorithm. But of course, uh, Another hybrid uh, algorithms appear uh, time by time. So, um, for instance, the machine quantum machine learning is a hybrid hybrid algorithm. For instance, uh, algorithm developed by Professor Tkachuk and me for using for detecting the energy levels of quantum systems, a hybrid algorithm. And if I understand the correctly correctly the question, so my answer is. Okay, and there are some even more questions. So one uh, more question about machine learning, but okay, maybe we can sorry skip it because uh, of time and it was partially answered. Right? And uh, another question, please tell us about your team scientific research in quantum cryptography. Uh, we didn't uh, do some uh, specific result, uh, research in quantum cryptography, but it will be in future. <laughs> Because we have done research as education or initiative in this case. Yes, yes, we started this because we, we know from this quantum cryptography from other papers, of course. Uh, and it was a question that uh, I believe was answered already how to join some researcher or students from other university. Yes, now maybe informally, yeah. And <laughs> We are open for other students, so we are looking forward to see all interested person in quantum information, quantum programming at the university, whether they want from Cohen National University. But uh, for formal, so you can enter the university for the master program and, and study all these nice, very nice courses. Just for one semester. It's just for three semesters. So this is for three semesters, and the last semester is practical, different practical courses. Yeah, I believe these sections between universities would be really interesting. <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. Thank you very much again for your very nice talk. Yeah, and for your program that you presented here. Really, it looks really nice. Yes.